Hey guys, Rob here again. So today we got another mechanical mod, and this mechanical mod did come from 8A Evapes, and I will put a link in the description so you can check out their website, 8A Evape. And I really highly recommend using 8A Evape if you're wanting to get a decent, good quality clone for a good price that's in the U.S. Uh, good shipping, three, four days shipping out to your house. Once you order it and everything's been shipped off, you get about three, four days, you'll have your item. Uh, real good company. I've done a lot of reviews of their clones and their, their mods and their RDAs. Real good company. Haven't had any problems with them. I, uh, anytime I email them, they'll talk back, email me back. We can discuss things, uh, find out anything that, uh, I'll ask them if they're getting a different, uh, if they're going to get a certain mod in. They'll tell me if they are or not. So once again, here we go. It is the all copper Pegasus mod, and this mod on their website is twenty nine ninety nine. And I have, I haven't got any issues with this thing besides one little simple one, but it's not an issue for it working. It works perfect. Okay, we will discuss that when we dive down on the table here. So I have been getting into the copper mods here lately, so I have been getting a lot of copper ones and been reviewing them. They're real nice mods here. And another thing here is if uh, I've noticed a lot of their copper mods on 8AE Vape, uh, the, they do have some kind of uh, uh, little coating so they don't tarnish. Uh, a lot of people don't like the tarnish, like the copper cartel here is all tarnished and dingy looking. Uh, a lot of people don't like that, so if you're not really into that, or you can also just kind of put a little uh, acetone or something on this and clean off the coating so it will start to tarnish, or you can patina it. Okay, but if you like the part where you don't have to sit there and clean it, it is kind of a little bit of a pain to have to clean the your mod about every two three days so you don't have to worry about that with these here for their copper mods so okay guys it's got the nice engraving on it you got the Greek lettering right here nice engraving it's pretty deep engraving and you also have a nice deep engraving down here on the bottom nice and deep and then you also do have the little Pegasus logo right here nice deep engraving as you can hear so Let's dive down here on the table and we'll take a look at this thing. So, all right, guys, here is the box that it did come with. A nice little cardboard box, nothing fancy. And you do open it up and it does have nice little foam padding in there so you don't have to worry about your mod getting hurt. And I do have a little spring in here. It did come with spring, a spring and magnets. So I got the magnets in there because if I'm going to use a spring, I'll just make my own copper spring, better conductivity. So I'm not worried about springs. So there's the box. Let's push it over to the side. Not much else to talk about on it. But here is the mod right here. Now this is a 22 millimeter device and it does only come with one tube. So that is just a 18650 tube. And it does come with the spring and the magnets. And it does have a battery venting that is through the bottom on the bottom firing switch where it's uh they're they are hidden. And you do have a reverse threaded locking ring and you do have adjustable pin and for your RDA and you do have adjustments for your battery rattle so let's go ahead and break this on down here I have not had any issues with the threads on this nice smooth threads no squeaking no crunching no no uh, sticking just all around nice smooth threads as you can hear so here's the tube you just got three pieces here you got your bottom your your bottom switch your top pin for your top piece and your single 18652 not much to say too much about it nice and clean threads they're not real fine threads so they are some pretty good threads and <clears throat> here we go with the top now there is no venting for your art your tanks that have bottom airflow so if you get this mod you're gonna have to either have a K fun a fogger an RDA or something like that which that's all I use so this is perfect for me look at that nice shiny copper right there shines nice. it does have copper contacts and you do have your adjustment for your battery rattle with this pin here you just adjust this pin here out 
so adjust your battery rattle and then you also have adjustment for your your pin for your RDAs the whole thing does adjust out you adjust it with the black Delerant insulator so you do got threads up inside there too once again nice smooth threads so basically I just take my RDA I thread it on to the top cap then I thread the Delerant insulator with the pin up till it touches there we go now with my battery that I'm using VTC4 I don't even need this battery rattle I just take it push it all the way up in there because that's where that's where it touches so okay so here is the bottom switch now this is the only con that I do have with this which it's an easy fix con you got your reverse threaded here nice and easy nice and easy lock ring no issues there you have your nice little Delrin insulator right there and let's go ahead and take this here apart you gotta use your fingertip to take this here apart there's your nice copper pin then we'll go ahead and open this up and as you can tell I do have magnets in this and you can this also does come apart here right there you got your locking ring and your bottom part and as you see there is the venting holes for your battery make sure I get those in there right so what we're going to do is basically the issue that I have had with this is the bottom pin does come loose it does unthread so we're just going to put a little I didn't want to do this before this so that way I can take it apart and show you guys but we're just going to put a little Loctite on this to keep it that's the only thing that I have had an issue with which isn't no big deal if you got a little Loctite So let's go ahead and put this here back together. So we basically just thread this back in. I got too much stuff in my hands. Almost forgot it is reverse threaded. Almost forgot about that. So here we go, we'll go ahead and stick this up in here. There we go, got that in. It ain't that hard to put them in there. And then we got our Loctite on our threads here. As you can tell, I got blue Loctite. I do not use red or you'll never get it off. Always just use blue. And then we'll go ahead and thread this in here. And we'll just thread it in where we got a little lip so it will make contact with the battery. So there we go. Now that should make contact. It does protrude from the Delrin. Now once that kind of sits on there for a little bit uh, I won't ever have to worry about that coming back off it'll stay in there all the time so let's go ahead and put the top cap back on easy threads as you can see here nice and smooth and then we also put the bottom back on no battery rattle as you can hear no battery rattle so let's go ahead and bring this up on top and vape on it talk a little bit more so okay guys that is the copper Pegasus from 8AE vapes now for $29.99 you can get one of these and as you can tell I have not had any problems with this excellent 
excellent device. I just had that one where the the bottom pin comes unthreads a little bit as you're firing it, but I put that Loctite on there. I should never have to worry about it again. Now this thing also comes in at 0 .08 voltage drop. Excellent, excellent. So I got three uh, three copper mods from them, the Stingray X, the Pegasus, and the Akuma, and they all come in at the same 0 .08 voltage drop. So I know they're pretty hard hitting mods right there. Now I do have some other mods coming in, like uh, I got in on a group buy with the FU Hatton, the Fuck You Merivape FU Hatton mod, and I got that coming in here hopefully within the next week. And I like to see what kind of voltage drops on that baby. I got the copper one, and it will have the emblem of the FU, so it's the Fuck You Merivape. So, okay, guys, I will put a link in the description for 8AE Vape so you can check them out. I really highly recommend that website for a USA vendor that sells clones at a decent price and good quality. All right, guys, till next time.